And yes, I wanted to take just a moment to uh, to really uh, stress that if you're wanting super performance, the key to have super performance is to concentrate and not diversify. But uh, but and that just depends on where you are in your life cycle, where you are in terms of your risk strategy, how old you are. Uh, you know, uh, what you're working with in terms of the amount of money that you're working with and so forth. But, uh, you know, Buffett himself said, uh, you know, the, the way that uh, you build your uh, equity and net worth is by concentration, not diversification. And, you know, Warren Buffett's made, you know, most of his money in growth stocks. Uh, and, you know, you think of him as uh, Graham and Dodd, a student of the markets, but he's made most of his money in growth companies like Coca-Cola, Apple, and uh, companies like that. So from a trading perspective, uh, you only want to have just a handful of names uh, and concentrate. Uh, and we're in an environment where you can't, where having 20 or 30 names or 200, having a portfolio of 200 stocks, that you think is good quality. It's really not the way to build your wealth. And we're in an environment where you have to day trade or trade uh, for two or three or four days and then get out. So it's certainly not a market that's, that's trend uh, in which the trend is positive. And so that's why it's so difficult to, uh, to make money right now. So another uh, hint is you want to turn over your portfolio. You want to have an edge and turn that edge over and over as fast as you can. But that edge has to do with managing the risk on the downside. Charts are important. It's important to know uh, the types of charts that are out there that suggest uh, uh, that suggest uh, the stock will, will be going from a consolidation to a new uptrend and uh, O'Neill's book and also Edwards and McGee, they've got a great book on technical analysis that uh, those guys taught me in 1987 uh, in New York. Uh, they've got some, uh, that's really probably the Bible of technical analysis. Uh, so Edwards and McGee, and they, they talk about uh, these technical indicators that I mentioned briefly before, looking at the MACDs and relative strength, uh, McClellan oscillators and things like that. Uh, it's important, uh, everything, that this is the golden rule. Uh, you want to make more on your uh, losses than, uh, make more on your gains than your losses and turn that over. So you want to have an edge. Uh, from a trading perspective, really, uh, you can cut your losses generally more, you know, tighter than 5 to 8%, but the turnover is enormous when you do that but you'll see the guys that win the contest the u.s investment championships uh typically their losses are less than five to eight my my typical stop is the day before so if you buy stop breaking out you use a one bar stop and that's uh you know but the turnover on managing an account like that is just tremendous uh trade directly never average down uh, buy stocks in uptrends, not downtrends. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Darvis was famous for buying the breakouts and then having the stocks come in three to four days and then turn back up and then add to the position and pyramid into the position as the stock takes out another uh, a box. Uh, that's, a tr that's a great strategy uh, in a bull market. Uh, this is really uh, a this is really a great hint. You want to trade your largest when you're trading your best. Uh, Minervini talks about this, and he calls it progressive exposure. So you don't you don't uh, you don't uh, pile in. If you see that the market is turning and potentially the market's turning, you have to incrementally add exposure because we've had four or five follow through days that suggest the trend is changing and none of them have worked. So uh, I think we'll have a presentation by one of the uh, one of the team from the life cycle trade and they'll probably talk about follow through days this evening. I can't wait to see that because they've done some outstanding research in uncovering 
those follow through days in conjunction with uh, bull and bear markets. A lot of times uh, from a trading perspective, when you can get a profit, you generally you should sell half of it and then backstop your profit. Uh, and that's a good way of managing. That's a good, great, a great way, frankly, of managing uh, your risk. So as soon as you can get a profit from a trading perspective, if uh, if I'm up three to five percent, then I'll, ch I'll uh, move my stop up to break even immediately, and that reduces, uh, that keeps you in the trade, gives you the opportunity for a gain, but it allows you to not lose money on the position. So when you can get an edge like that, you just do that. You turn that over and over again. But uh, if you're managing a fund and managing millions and millions of dollars the way that Wesley and I are, it's very difficult to put millions and millions of dollars in one day and then take it out the next day and constantly do that. We're in an environment, if you do that, you'll get chewed up. <clears throat> study your, uh, your winning uh, stocks. Study your losing stocks. Uh, it's important. Uh, the Trader Line team had some great behavioral uh, presenters that talked about the uh, behavioral aspect uh, and the mindset in terms of trading. And I think that that's uh, very important. And it's very important to help you so that you can trade the best. And you can, when this market does turn, you can move money back into the market and not be afraid of losing money. So that's all about mindset. And again, uh, there are many different many different ways of trading. Uh, you can be a value trader, you can be a growth trader, you can buy weakness, you can sell weakness, you can buy strength. Uh, there's all types of ways of making money in the market. But uh, just try to be a specialist and, uh, and, uh, and try not to uh, incorporate style drift because what that will do is that will get you out of your uh, trading uh, your uh, your long-term trading uh, tactics right at the time when it's changing so managing your losses and cutting your losses is the uh, holy grail in trading